Hey everyone, it's Rachel here, founder of Hot Chocolate and creator of the Style Stock Library. In today's training video, I'm going to show you how you can create social media promotion graphics for all of your holiday sales. So I'm here in Canva and we're going to get started by clicking on the social media template. All right, so you'll notice that when you click on this, you're going to get some Canva pre-made options, which you can definitely use and just uh, switch out the background photo, add in your own text. And if you're just kind of getting started with Canva, this is definitely a great place to start. But I'm actually just gonna start creating my own design from scratch. So I'm gonna go to uploads. And I already have my photos uploaded, but if you don't, uh, you can create a new folder and pull in any photos from the styled stock library that you wanna use. I have my photos saved already in my cozy winter folder here. And what I want to think about is, you know, what kind of text am I, am I putting here? So you should already have your copy figured out. And then you're going to choose an appropriate photo to use as a background. Now, if I'm having a sale and I don't really want like a busy background, um, or anything that's going to distract from my main message, I probably will choose a photo that has some negative space for me to work with. Now I really like this one here, so I'm going to click on it and Canva will place it inside. I'm just going to click and drag it out to make it fill the entire canvas for me. And then I can just position it however I want. The reason why I like this one, like I said, is because I have a lot of negative space. So it's going to be perfect for adding any kind of text or sales copy that I want to put in here. Now your sales graphics really don't need to have a ton of text on them. You just want to let people know, hey, we're having um, a Cyber Monday sale or a holiday sale or whatever the case is. Let them know a couple of details, like maybe the percentage off or what the sale is or what the promotion is about, and then give them a call to action. So a little button that they can click that says shop now or purchase now or whatever the case is. So I'm going to show you exactly how to add your text. So if you hit T on your keyboard, the little text box is going to pop up and you can start typing. Let's say this is a Cyber Monday sale. I'm just going to write Cyber Monday because I want that to be in a different font than my sale. So I'll add another text box. I'll add sale. And I'm going to change these fonts in a second. I'm going to add another text box that says 25% off. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to just do a shop now button. Okay, so I have four different text boxes because I want to be able to manipulate the fonts and the colors and the sizes on these different um, types of text that I put in here. So for Cyber Monday, I'm probably going to make all the font white just to make it easy to read. I'm going to go with a script font for that and then I'm going to make it quite a bit bigger so you can actually see it. So I've got my Cyber Monday there. I'm going to just move these down a little bit. Sale, I'm going to make that the largest thing because that's what I want people to really pay attention to. Okay, and I'll probably put that in the center. I can bring my Cyber Monday down a little bit. All right, then we've got this 25% off the entire online store. Maybe I make that in caps and in white. Might make my sale text a little bit bigger. And you know, some of this is literally just playing around with it and seeing how it looks. Okay, I like that. That's looking pretty nice. That's looking nice and balanced. Now I've got this shop now. So what I want to do is kind of make this look like it's a button. And the way that I do that is I'm going to go over to elements, shapes, add this little square, and then I'm going to adjust the size of the square and bring it down to make it look like a button. And uh, since it's over top of my text right now, I'll go to arrange and then I'll bring it back. And that's looking pretty cute. It literally took me about, I don't know, a minute, two minutes to do that. So uh, I wanna just adjust all of this text so that it's more centered. So I'm just gonna click and then I'm gonna hold down my shift key 
and I'm click on my different text boxes to select them. Let's see if I can get this one too. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. So I'm gonna just do this and then I'll move my box. Okay, so that is now centered. And now I'm gonna just, um, oops, grab, <laughs> grab this box in behind and center it. Okay, that's perfect, I'm done. I really like how that looks. Guys, you really don't need to complicate these graphics. Actually, you know, in general, the sim more simple, the better. As long as your message is getting across, which I think it is, you can see it's a Cyber Monday sale. I'm having 25% off my entire online store and I'm asking people to take uh, an action, which is shop now. So it's a really pretty professional looking graphic within minutes. Like I said before, select a photo that's going to help with your messaging and that's not going to distract from what you're trying to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this and by giving it a title, I'll hit done, I'll go to file, save. Now when I'm ready to download, I just hit download and then I can choose my file type. So a PNG file is going to give you more crisp text, which is great if you want to post this on Facebook or Instagram or something like that. If you're posting it on your blog and you want a little bit of a smaller file size, then go with the JPEG option. But PNG is um, going to give you the, 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 the higher quality crisper text. And then just hit download and Canva is going to download it to your downloads folder. That's kind of the default where it'll go. And then you just go and grab it from there and upload it to your social media or wherever you want to post this. Okay, let's say that I want to create another graphic, um, but I want to use a photo that doesn't have negative space. I just want to show you how you can create the space using elements. So I'm going to add a new page. I'm just going to get rid of this one. I'm going to go back to my uploads. And let me just choose a photo here. Okay, let's say I want to go with this one. It's pretty, um, it's uncluttered, but there is not really any negative space unless I were to sort of place it down here. But for the sake of what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you. So I'm gonna place it where I want, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Elements. I'm gonna add in this square again, and this time I'm gonna make it white. And I'm gonna bring down the transparency. You can do that, you see this little checkered graphic here. Just bring your slider down a little bit. And the element that we added is just creating that negative space for you. Even though there's a photo in the background, you can easily add your text over top. All right, and if I wanted to add a little more interest, I could put in another layer here. So um, just watch this. Put in another element, change the color to white, change the opacity. This time I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. And um, now I'm gonna just send it in behind all of my text. So it just kind of adds another little element. It's very subtle, but it adds just a, something a little bit more interesting to the design. So there you have it. It's really easy. Whether you're choosing a photo that already has negative space and you don't really need to add a lot of extra elements to it, just add your copy. Or if you have a photo that you really like where you want to fill in the whole canvas area and then add your own negative space by adding um, a simple overlay to it and then adding your text over top. Those are two options for creating social media graphics. I hope that you found this helpful and that you can now feel like you can easily go into your favorite online editing program and create beautiful sales graphics.